Hey guys, I literally just recorded this, and, um, yeah, I then, when I went to go render the, uh, video, dummy me forgot to check the box so that you hear what I'm saying. You would have had nothing but game audio and just nothing from me. And uh, that makes me just like, that's total and utter bullshit. So I have to start all over. Good thing I didn't get that far. Normal. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories that you know other journalists would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret of the heart at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To investigate the horrors of Mount Massive and to expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. I would prefer life, if you ask me over death. Oh, but great. Goody, goody, goody gumdrop. You guys get to uh, actually get to hear me complaining about the controls because I'm using a controller that I bought at a flea market for $5 because I don't want to use my uh, mouse and keyboard because uh, with scary games like this, it's like my hands jerk and my mouse will just go whoop. Alright. Alright. There's that. Alright, I got that. I got it. I got it. Alright, so, for those of you who don't know, the controls are kind of reversed for me. And I have tried to change it, but it doesn't want to work. Okay, the controls to move my head and to, to change the direction that I'm looking, it's my left uh, thumbstick. The, I'm sorry, I sneezed before I started recording this, so that's why I've got the sniffles. And then the control, or the uh, stick shift, the, the stick that I use to move my character is actually the right thumbstick. And to me that is just really awkward, and because I've always used the right, the left thumbstick to move characters, and this is just a little weird to use the right. He is not even holding that. Alright. September 11th, <laughs> September 17th, 2013. Subject tip, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult, consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities and, and in Mount Massive. All sorts of D NDAs. I am very much breaking right now. But, seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy. Going on. Going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. And that was on point, right there. Yeah, but seriously, fuck those guys. Alright, so in. Out. Yes. Get out of the goddamn car. Yes, turn off your freaking night vision. Miles, up sure. Alright. Fun. And souls with the... Okay. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. This is going a lot better than the last time. Nope. Yes, this is going a lot better. This is going 
more smoothly than I could have ever hoped for. All right, that's to run. All right, I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Markov Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a of a charitable, charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Markov Corporation though, has a long track record of disguising profit as char charity but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks these bastards. Alright, so... They are hiding something and no one knows what. Except for a few people and oh my god, it begins. That thunder, though. That thunder, though. I have to admit that it is nice to play a game with a controller. Even though the controls are really just messed up. I just have to train my thumbs to use the... To use the, um... Oh, well, I guess I just have to retrain my thumbs. That sounds weird. Does that sound weird to have to retrain my thumbs? It's not weird, is it? Oh well. Weird or not, it's true. Oh my god, what the fuck are you on? They say, don't look down. <laughs> That's a lie. Look down. Always look down. Nope. There we go. Alright. So, good. This is going a lot smoother than the last time I recorded this, because last time I recorded it, it was just a bunch of uh, rambling on and just a bunch of what the fuck do I do and bullshittery like that. At least now I have a vague idea. Of what it is that I want to do. Okay, I saw the light over there and I was just like... I thought, oh my god. Is that a, my first foe? No! Poltergeist much? They're here! Oh, this is going a lot smoother than my last attempt. Oh my god, you, you would not be believe. Oh 
you would honestly not believe like the I had to make sure. Nope. Take it. Take it. Gotta read it. Alright. Murkoff Psychiatric System. Project Wall Rider. Mass Mount Massive CO. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH Billy. Consultation date 2012. 10-14. Initial date of patient cons consult, 2009-4-12. Patient age, 19. Gender, male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status, patient claims to have pro progressed to self-directed self lucid dream state. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnosis. Spinometry. Revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hermotacrit centrifuge. Again, failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed... Arrhythmic REM in REM cycle after in in REM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note. The only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wallrider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Alright, so there is a get out of there, Miles. Okay. Can I take the soda? Kind of thirsty here. No. Is this where it goes to shit? My, uh, skills. You know, I, I, I kind of just want to slam that shut. Cola, drink. Back up, back up. I don't think I need that yet. Sore. Oh, shit. You know, I would hate to be in one of the, in an air duct. I would hate to be in an air duct because, you know, it's like anything could happen. You're not going to come alive at me, are you? No? Good. I've been missing so many goodies. What was that? No, that wasn't anything. Oh my god, is this where it goes to shit? 
Oh, you are perfectly highlighted. You're gonna come alive, aren't you? <coughs> they killed us. They got out. The very. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. <coughs> You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Trust me, I, I'll, I'll try. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh... Yeah. There we go. That's what I was trying to remember. I was trying to remember how to change the goddamn batteries in this thing, but um... But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in part two of Outlast. This game is great. I have been trying to get it to work for so goddamn long, but... If I... I, I don't remember if I went over that story in this, uh in this episode or or in this video or if it was a previous or if it was the previously recorded episode that I just recorded and had to scrap. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.